Buongiorno belli amici! Welcome to Calabria Dreaming! Uh, my name is Lily. If you've never seen my channel before, I make videos about what life is really like here in beautiful Bella Calabria. Today's video, it is July 4th, as I am wearing my fabulous little American pride um, flag shirt. And today's video is just for shits and giggles again, you guys. Do not take it seriously. It is the epic battle between America and Italy. Who wins the battle? So obviously I live in Italy. So obviously I chose to come here. Obviously I love it here. So all those little snowflakes out there that are gonna get all offended, please do not leave your comments in below because it's just for fun. I have some notes. I have some categories that we're gonna go over. We're gonna talk about who wins, Italy or America. All right, so let's get into it. Before we get started, if you don't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. My whole goal is to get the word out to the world that Calabria exists and it's freaking amazing. All right, guys, the first category, I mean, we have to do it, is food. And there is no competition here. It's obviously Italy. Now, however, I do want to say this. I do miss the variety of food that America offers. Obviously, America is the melting pot of the world and we have literally every cuisine you could ever ask for in your life. And I do love that and I do miss that. There's very, very, very little variety here in Italy. Maximum, we have like sushi and Italian food. There's really nothing else. However, the produce here in Italy is so, so high standard. Um, Italians are very, very much against like GMOs spraying their wheat fields. Like they grow things organically the way they did back in the Dizay. Um, Calabria specifically is very, very well known for its high quality of produce. And it's not that the, that the meals are super complicated or, you know, fancy. It's just really good, high quality produce. And of course, I do have to say, like, the way Italians eat, the way that they cook for each other, the way that they enjoy a meal all together as a family, that wins for me 100%. But I do have to say, I really do miss American food, but... I do also have to say, anytime I go back to the States, I immediately like gain like 10 pounds and I'm always like super tired. So I don't know. I think that there's something going on with the food in the United States and in Italy, you can literally eat shit for years and you will be the thinnest and the healthiest you've ever been in your life. So clearly, yes, one point for Italy, zero points for America. All right, the next category, and this I'm gonna get so much shit for, but I don't care, are cars. Now, obviously, Italy has Lamborghini, Maserati, Ferrari, all the fast sports cars, right? In America, back in the day, we had American muscle cars, like I'm talking Buick, I'm talking Cadillac, I'm talking uh, Chevys, you know, all the like big muscle cars. So from like the 50s until like the 80s, America had had something. So for me, personally, if I see a man driving a red or yellow Ferrari, that's a very big red flag. I'm not turned on by that. It's very small dick energy, if you know what I mean. Um, for me, the cars 100% go to America. America wins this one. If you hear like a 1969 Buick Riviera, that engine and that big car and like the colors that we used to do, like absolutely freaking lutely American cars win. Now I'm not saying I'm totally opposed to Italian cars. I just, I really don't like men driving Ferraris. I like Maseratis, but it's so like showy and just like so desperate. I do appreciate the technology. I understand, like I understand. But as a woman, personally, this is my thing. American cars win all day, every day. So yes, Italy, suck it. The next category, and I'm gonna get another load of shit for this, but this is the truth, this is my opinion, is fashion. So obviously Italy has the biggest designers, right? Versace, Prada, Armani, all the big, amazing, great designers. And yes, the fashion that comes out of Italy 
is the best in the world. You could probably compare it to France, whatever. However, I'm not talking about designers. I'm talking about everyday streetwear. Now, Americans are known to be very frumpy and like khakis, jeans, red, white, and blue. And Italians definitely are sexier in the sense that they dress up more and they're always so well put together and all of that. So, however, the one thing I've noticed here in Italy is that everybody kind of dresses the same. It's like they took a picture from a magazine ad and they all are wearing that. So they're always very on trend. Whereas in America, I feel like individual style is very well praised and we like individual style. And maybe it's because I'm from California and I'm from Los Angeles and I lived where all the crazy people live. But I feel like Americans have more fun with their fashion and they don't necessarily follow the trends like the rest of Italians do. Like I literally will go and people watch, like have a coffee and just look at people. And they all are, I swear to God, are wearing the exact same look. Like all the girls look the same. All They're all wearing the same shoes. They all have the freaking Hogan's and the Pumino and they all wear black with the black hair and the black glasses. Like it's very like, it looks very robotic to be completely honest. And I'm sure if you go to Milan, there's a bunch of fashionable fucking assholes walking around and I'm happy for them. But I just feel like America wins this one because I feel like we have individual style. Like we are not afraid to show who we are through the clothing that we wear. We don't care so much about what people think. Whereas people here are very, very concerned about like their reputation and what people are saying about them. So they all kind of conform into kind of dressing very similar and kind of boring. They don't take a lot of risks and I'm, I'm not saying that there aren't some fashionable people out here in Italy. Uh, one of my, like Angelo's ex, Angelo's cousin, uh, Ilaria, she has a style for days. She mixes and matches and doesn't care. And I love that about her, but there's not a lot of Ilarias out here. Whereas if I go to LA, like literally every single friend I ever had totally had their individual style and really had fun with fashion. So I'm sorry, Italy, America wins this one again. All right, now the next category is friendliness. Now, there are two parts to Italy. There's the northern part and then there's the southern part. Anything below Rome is considered southern and anything above Rome, in my opinion, is considered the north, all right? So, in northern Italy, they are the rudest people I've ever met, just so pretentious and snobby and they think the whole world revolves around them. However, because of the south, because of Sicily, Calabria, and Puglia, the nicest and warmest people live here. So if you mix them together and kind of average it out, Italy is not the friendliest place you've ever been to. I mean, um, it's hit or miss, it's a mixed bag. Obviously Calabrians are not like super friendly up front, but once you are welcomed into the community, they're literally the best people in the world. And I, I think that the same for Sicilians as well um, and all of the Southern states here in Italy, but Americans, literally anywhere you go, from Montana to Texas, California to New York, Americans are extremely friendly. They're always smiling. They're always saying good morning. They're always interested in meeting you and asking you questions. So I have to give this one to America because I can't think of one state where people behave like they do here in Italy. I mean, New Yorkers, the thing is, I was in, on the East Coast after 9-11 and I remember New Yorkers coming together like I've never seen a community come together that much. So helpful, so friendly, so they just, they're, we're big huggers. You know, like we, we hug each other, we embrace each other. Here, they're a little colder. Now, thank God for Calabrians that they help average out the assholiness up in Northern Italy, right? Um, but yeah, I've seen some really awful behavior here. And it's too bad, um, but I'm glad that I live in the South where people are really quite friendly. But I do have to give this one to America. One more point for America. Next category is history. There is no competition, once again. When Italy wins, they just blow us out of the water. Obviously, Italy is just like one big outdoor museum. Literally here in Calabria, you drive around and there's Greek ruins, Byzantine ruins, Roman ruins, like crazy ruins. It's just the whole country is just one big freaking museum. Like everywhere you go, it's just nothing but history. And it's so mind blowing. Like I, I still can't get over 
how much there is here. Now, I'm not saying there isn't this history in America. In fact, I do believe that American history is way older than what they tell us in history books. However, it's so covered up. It's so not praised. It's so not celebrated. And as much as American history is very interesting and very intense and very explosive and very, it's short, we're, we're a young country, but we had a lot going on in the last 300 years. Italy 100% wins. I mean, you go to Rome, literally Rome, you could just walk around all day long and like look at art. Like, <laughs> like everywhere you go in Italy, from Calabria to Rome to Florence, I mean, my mind is blowing, to Venice, I mean, Venice, made me cry literally like tears of like beauty because it's so incredibly beautiful and there's so much history so a hundred percent italy wins this one we'll give one point to italy i mean yeah the history here is yeah it's just it's mind-blowing next category <laughs> music <laughs> sorry italy you guys totally lose this one i'm so sick and tired of like this italian lame fucking music like you turn on the radio here in Italy and it's just like lame 80s pop like soft rock but and like shit like re like Italian reggaeton that I can't stand they literally just copy like real reggaeton and they make it Italian it's so ridiculous I don't know how they get away with that you go to America we got rock and roll we got jazz we got the blues we got we got salsa, we got, I don't know, whatever kind of music you want. And like Americans, we have so much variety, but we're also so open to it. You know, like American music by far wins, okay, you guys, for sure, 100%. I even like cowboy music, you know, you go down to the South, I love that stuff. You go to New Orleans, you got the jazz, you know, you go to California, you got the West Coast hip hop. You go up north, you got grunge and all of that, like alternative music. You go to the like, you go East Coast, baby, East Coast hip hop, but you got it all. Like America just absolutely 100% wins the music category. Sorry, Italy. You guys have a long way to go. I mean, I do appreciate some Italian music, like the oldies, but yeah, there's just not enough for me to be satisfied. Next category is kind of stupid that I'm even bringing it up because it's like, duh, beaches. Obviously, Italy wins. Italy is just one long beach. It's just one tongue sticking into the Mediterranean and there's just like beach all around it. It's almost like an island, to be completely honest. Um, Italy, by far, they take great care of their beaches. You don't see any freaking trash anywhere. They really, really care about the water cleanliness. They really, really care about making it beautiful during the summer. Obviously, I chose to come to Italy, specifically Calabria, because I am the biggest beach bum. I lived in LA for 15 years, and I never not once put my entire body in the water because it was so dirty. I remember, like, there being needles everywhere. And this is, like, in Malibu and in, you know, Santa Monica. Like, the beaches are, it's a shame. It's a damn shame. And all the homeless people that took over that whole area, it's just made it worse and it sucks. But I've been to other parts of America with beaches like Miami or even in Texas, they have great beaches there, but they're just, they, you don't compare to anything that Italy has to offer. Italy does beaches the best. They totally win. Score to Italy. Last but not least, lifestyle. So lifestyle. Italians, they know how to live the best lives. They do not work just to work. They work a little bit and then they live way more. Americans, we work our whole lives and we have a little bit of life. It's terrible. The way Americans live is by slaving themselves until retirement age, two weeks vacation a year, they work so much to make the money that they need to live there and to show off. Whereas Italians kind of don't give a shit. Their quality of life is priority number one and money comes second. So it can be perceived as a little bit of laziness here, but it's not. I actually, I think that Italians really figured out that their quality of life supersedes everything. Whereas our quality of our job supersedes everything. So for sure, Italy wins lifestyle. Italians know how to do la dolce far niente. They just are incredible at 
really enjoying their lives, taking it easy, being in the moment, um, the way that they structure their day with all the naps and the eating and the, the, the and everything that they do, it just is the best life ever. So I have to give this one to Italy as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this little silly video. Let me know in the comments below what you agree with and what you don't agree with. In the end, Italy wins, obviously, because that's why I'm here. But there are some categories that I feel like, you know, America is pretty good at, you know, like we have the good cars. We got great music. I love the fashion sense that we have in, uh, in America. We just go for it all day, balls to the wall. <laughs> we just don't care. Um, but you know, Italy definitely is, um, it's, it's a dream living here. You guys, there's no competition. It's just for shits and giggles. Like I said, but, um, please leave me the comments below and please go ahead and follow me on Instagram. If you want to see like personal stories about what I'm up to every single day, it's just for fun, honestly. And then also check out my website for any rentals or houses that are for sale here in Calabria. It's calabriadreaming.com. And if you guys are coming here, if you need help relocating, please reach out to me. My email is calabriadreaming at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy 4th of July, Americans. You have so much to be proud for. And make sure next time you come to Italy, you come visit us here in the South. All right, guys. So have a lovely day. Ciao.